I am often asked which VPN is the best and the answer really depends on your use case. So today I want to break down three different use cases and which VPN solution is the best option for each scenario. Let's get it. As an immigrant living in Mexico, one of the things that is a creature comfort is US television shows. I can make a whole video on the different ways to access US based TV series, but one common method is simply to use a public VPN service like NordVPN. NordVPN has clients for all devices from Windows, OS X, Android, and particularly smart TVs that run on Android. This makes NordVPN useful for the use case of watching US programming when you're an expat in another country. One of the biggest issues with using a public VPN service for accessing US television program is the fact that all users of a particular VPN server will have the same IP address. If multiple users connect to the same streaming service with different accounts but the same IP address, that service will easily be able to detect that a user is using a VPN service. In many cases, to resolve this issue, it's as simple as switching your VPN client to a different server. NordVPN has hundreds of server options in the United States. Another feature that NordVPN offers is a dedicated IP address for your account. However, the dedicated IP address only works with the NordVPN software client, which means you need to install software on your device and the number of servers with dedicated IP addressing is very limited. If you're not currently a NordVPN customer and would like to give it a try, please use my affiliate link that I'll leave above and also in the description notes below. It helps support the channel and the creation of more great content at no additional cost to you. So using NordVPN installing each device is an easy option for changing your device's location and accessing US television programming. But what if you need to have all of your devices in your home use a VPN service? Well, that's where the GL iNet Slate 1800 router comes in handy. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that I love this Swiss Army knife of a router. The NordVPN service is already pre-installed as an OpenVPN client option. This makes setting up NordVPN super easy on this router. All you need to do is provide your service credentials from your NordVPN account and select the city and the number of servers that you want to access. With this configuration, you can connect all of your devices in your home behind the GL iNet Slate 1800 router and they will all be on VPN. This is super helpful if you have a number of devices that you can't load software on, like a TV that doesn't support apps. Would that be called a dumb TV? Another really good use case of this setup is avoiding price discrimination from travel websites. All airlines and many hotel sites will give you pricing based on the location of your IP address. Well, if you can change your IP address and your location, then you can save money in book lore fares. This is a super trick that I use every time before buying plane tickets and booking hotels. I also recommend that you use a private browser or use a browser in incognito mode until you're ready to book your tickets. You can definitely pay for your router and monthly subscription to NordVPN with the savings from this one tip. The final use case is for remote workers that want to redefine home and work from anywhere. Public VPN servers work well for accessing restricted content and avoiding price discrimination from travel sites, but the very best option for remote workers who want to travel and extend their home networks is a personal site-to-site -site VPN. Using two Slate 1800 routers, it is possible to create a VPN connection that extends your home internet service to wherever you want to travel to around the world. I help clients every single day set this up so that they can enjoy the part of their life that doesn't involve work from wherever they choose. A personal VPN doesn't share IP addresses, the equipment is owned by you so there's no monthly fee for the service, and it doesn't require you to install anything on a work device. Every device connected behind the personal VPN will be connected to your home network. Think of this as packing your home internet service with you when you travel. This is the very best option for using a VPN, whether working remotely, watching Netflix, or avoiding price discrimination from travel websites. I would love to help you pack your home internet with you when you travel. Check out the link above and also in the description notes below to get started. If you wanna know more about VPNs, check out the playlist over here. And until next time, makes it plans, Monty, I'm out.